You need to start a no code SaaS in 2023. And here's why. Look at every single person that you look up to. Your Iman Godzi, your Jordan Welch, Alex Becker, Russell Brunson. Even though they may be telling you to do agency or e-com or build funnels for people or whatever it may be, if you actually look at what any of them are doing, they're all focusing on software. Iman is focusing on agency flow, a software for agency owners. Jordan has Viral Vault. It's a software for people interested in e-com. Becker just sold Hyros for $110 million in Brunson. His, he has ClickFunnels, which is worth over a billion dollars. So all these super rich people that everyone looks up to, they didn't get super rich by doing what they're telling you to do. They got super rich by telling you what to do and having you use their software to get there. And that's how they got really, really rich. And you can do the same thing. And in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how to do what they're doing and what I'm doing as well throughout 2023 and what I have been doing the last year. The first thing is when you study them, is they were all emerged in a niche before. So Iman has been in the agency space for, for forever, for years. So he knew all the problems agency owners faced. And so he was easily able to spin up a software company in the agency space. Becker was in media buying. It was easy for him. Brunson was in funnel building, website building, agency, et cetera. Um, and obviously Jordan was in e-com. So they all were immersed in a niche before they actually went and created their software product. So you're going to have to do something similar. You're going to have to become very, very familiar with a specific niche. You're going to have to figure out what frequent problems do they have? What inconveniences do they have? You have to figure these things out because then you're going to build a software to either solve that problem or to you know fix that inconvenience. But what they do that is really, really, really smart is they all sell info products as well, right? Iman Godzi sells a course on how to start an agency. Jordan Welch sells a course on how to start an e-com. Uh, I think Alex Becker had a media buying course for a while for YouTube ads. And um, Brunson has like a bunch of different courses. He has, you know, books. He has the one funnel away challenge. So they all sell information and they don't do it to just have a ton of monthly cash flow. That's actually not why they're selling their courses. Maybe that's why it started off, but what their courses or info products actually are is it's a customer list for their softwares. So when you look at it now, and Iman said this openly, he only still sells his course so that way he can push them or funnel the course students to his software company. And so what's really cool about this is not only is he profiting on the course, he's liquidating the lead costs. Normally, if you didn't have an info product, you might be negative on the front end. Let's say you're running ads to your software. And you know, it's like $20 a month software, whatever. And you might have to pay $50 on the front end to acquire a customer and you know be negative on the first month and hope that you make it up in lifetime value. But they're profitable on the acquisition of the lead that they're funneling to the software. And so don't let that go over your head because that's actually insane. So it's making it so easy to scale their software because all they have to do is promote the info. Brunson did this brilliantly and he's the one that started it all with the one funnel away challenge. He just sold this info and got everyone to use click funnels. He said, "Hey, you know, if you build funnels for people or if you, you know, create a funnel for your business, it'll blow up. If one funnel can change your life, you just need to use this funnel building software." He sold the info to get people onto his software. And so I saw this and I was like, you know, they're telling people to do X, Y, and Z. But I looked at what they're actually doing and I was like, I should do the same thing. And so I own a company called Closeify, which is a hiring platform for business owners to hire commission only sales reps. And so at one point we hit a bottleneck. We used to just recruit sales reps to be on the platform through, you know, social media, stuff like that. And we hit a bottleneck. We weren't able to recruit sales reps fast enough as they were being hired out by our clients. And I was like, we have to do what they're doing. We have to create an info product where you know we teach people sales, but only to get them hired through our platform. And so we did that. And so then not only did we make more money from the info product, not only did we get more people then paying a subscription to be listed inside of our platform, and then it also, you know, it solved our actual bottleneck. 
And so I started doing the same thing. And then Closeify saw exponential growth. Closeify went from, you know, just we went from about 17 grand in, in January of 2021 or sorry, 2022 to doing six figure months by May after we made this tweak. And again, six figures from business owners, not from the info product, like from actually like people using our software. It's not our Closeify is not really a software as a service. It's a, it's more of a platform as a service, but it's the same thing. And so now I do all the same things for all my companies. I own another company or I'm a partner in a company called fastoutreach.ai. It uses AI to generate cold email campaigns. And guess what we're building? We're building a cold email course, teaching people how to do cold email to get them to use our software. And so this is what you need to do in 2023, but it starts with immersing yourself inside of a niche. So you need to get very familiar with something, or if you already are, it's perfect. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use an info product to get people onto your SaaS product. And the best thing is, is when people hear SaaS or software as a service, you think it's crazy complicated. You think it's expensive to start. You think all these different things. And so did I. But what you can do is you can start it with no code. So you can build it without knowing any code using tools like Glide or Softer. And it's basically the equivalent of a web flow or a WordPress. It's like drag and drop for building web apps. And so you can start on a no code platform like this. You can either do it yourself. It's not too hard to learn, or you can pay a no code dev of small sum of money. It'll be like, I don't know, anywhere between one to five grand for something like that. You can get them to build it no code. You launch it you, you know, as a minimal viable product. You drive some users, you get some profit into the business, you get some cash in the business bank account. And then once it makes sense, you go and find an actual dev to build a fully custom coded app for you once you can afford it. So you can start this on a very small budget and you can even stay no code if you want. Closeify is still no code. It's built on bubble. And the reason that we haven't moved to custom code yet is because it has the same functionality as code and it has the same modes. It still costs a lot of money for us to develop on bubble and it still took a lot of time. And so this is what, why they're not talking about it. It's very, it's not, I don't want to say it's easy, but it's not that much more difficult than if you were to just run an agency or, you know, do e-com or something along those lines. And the benefits are far greater. When you have an agency, you have to deal with all these clients and headaches and you have to fulfill, you actually have to fulfill a service. With software, the software is the fulfillment. Your margins are going to be higher. And most importantly, you're creating more equity value, a dollar profit of a software company can be sold for five to $10 when you go to exit. So if you have a company that's doing, or a software company that's doing a hundred thousand profit a year, you can get close to selling that company for a million dollars. Probably not um, quite a million right now with current markets in 2021, you definitely could have. But the point is you're not going to ever get really rich if you just do what these guys are telling you to do. You're not gonna get super, super rich with an agency. You can do fine, you can easily get, what they what they're telling you you can get 10 20 30 50 k a month cash flow live a cool life etc you can do the same with e-com sales whatever these guys are telling you but if you're like me and you're someone that wants to get really rich something that my business partner told me when he first came on board he's like you don't get really rich until you exit companies and so that's what i want that's what i want my viewers to do and so this is the process that we are following in 2023 we're getting familiar with a niche we're going to then use, and it doesn't have to be an expensive info product. You don't have to go sell a $2,000 course. It can be a $50 course, just something to liquidate that lead cost and then funnel them to your software. And so that's what we're doing in 2023. We're getting familiar with the niche. We're creating an info product and we're using the info to funnel people to our software. And then we're going to build it for a couple of years, maybe, maybe it's one year, maybe it's five, and we're going to exit them. And that's how we're going to get really, really rich. And that's how we're going to lap all these other people that are just doing agency, that are just doing sales, that are just doing e-com. We're going to run laps around all these guys in the next five years. And software is eating the world, if you guys can't tell, especially with AI and chat GTP. So the people that are going to win in years to come are either the people building software or selling it. So if you guys like this video, if it was helpful, I'll leave some links down below to no code builders that you can play around with. Um, Check out my last video for a more in-depth explanation of how to start a SaaS from A to Z. And yeah, more videos to come. I really appreciate it. Leave a thumbs up on this video if you guys liked it. And follow my Twitter for more 
um, threads on how to start a SaaS and things like that. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.